Hey, what's up? This is Rodney. And I was sitting here and I was thinking, damn, you haven't had no messy session in a long time. So I was like, you know what? Let me get my black ass up and talk about these motherfuckers. And plus, DJ Envy been all on my motherfucking timeline today with his old sensitive ass. I can't stand an old sensitive ass nigga. So anyways, quick background before I get into what I really want to say. Okay, so it's these two guys. Uh, I forgot their names. They have a show on Viceland. I never heard of them. I never heard of the show. Um, but they basically give their commentary over basically the same thing I'm doing. They talk about celebrities from what I understand. And remember when DJ Envy cheated on his wife? Remember that? We all remember that DJ Envy. Just in case you forgot. Nigga, we remember. And I'm sure your wife remember too. So remember when he was out there running them, running them streets, cheating on his wife with these bitches and whores? Well, afterwards, they I think they have a podcast too together. They went on The Real to discuss, you know, his infidelity. Infidelities. So they went on the reel to discuss what happened and basically, long story short, one of the guys cracked the joke, or I think both of them cracked the joke, basically saying that Gia, I think that's her name, Gia, I've been calling the girl Gia for the longest. Gia uh, stayed with DJ Envy for that coin, for that breakfast club check, okay? Um, let me just say this much. I understand DJ Envy wanting to make sure that nobody disrespects his family. But the way that nigga acted, you would have thought that somebody would have said that Gil can get this dick. Or, oh, yeah, Gil can jump on this dick. You see what I'm saying? That's like some low, that's like some not low key. That's some disrespectful shit to say about somebody's wife. Especially, like, on a cable television, a radio show, you know? So I'm just like, okay, he, ugh. DJ Envy. The reason why people are cracking jokes and talking about your wife and calling her stupid and calling her crazy is because you, nigga, you decided to go out there and run a mother str motherfucking street with these whores and make your family the butt of the motherfucking jokes. And now you're mad. Didn't nobody disrespect your wife. You disrespected your wife. You disrespected your kids. You, nigga, disrespected your family. What that boy said was not that deep and not that serious for you to be cutting up the way you cut up. Girl, you done got your panties in a bunch. You done left your job. Girl, I'm thinking he going to the ladies' room to go take a piss. Girl! They laughing and shit. They cracking jokes on DJ in because this motherfucker done walked out of the interview. Girl, you're not that mad, girl. You are not that mad. You might be irritated. I could see if you pull them to the side. Oh, okay, even address it on the air like, hey, I didn't, I didn't appreciate you saying that about my wife insinuating that she's a gold digger. Move on. Because don't nobody say shit when you sit there and you co-sign and you Google and you laugh when Charlamagne be sitting there calling people and people wives donkey of the day. The same way these other men probably get upset that Charlemagne is on a worldwide national radio show disrespecting their wife, calling their wife out their name, and your ass sitting there co-signing like you did with Monique. If you want that respect, nigga, get it. That's all I'm saying. If you want nobody talking about your wife, don't talk about nobody else's or Google, or Google about nobody else's, bitch. Now, the truth of the matter is, that check is a part of the reason why she stayed. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that's all the reason why she stayed. Because I understand. They've been together a long ass time. So, I can understand. That's a hard situation to walk, walk away from. And a motherfucker's got like 17,000 kids. So, they got 17,000 kids and they've been together since, I mean, shit. Since, <laughs> I almost said something real taggy. They've been together a minute. They've been together since, girl, like, teenagers. 12 and 13 or some shit like that. Some, some, they've been together a long ass time. Um, so I get it. So I'm sure that when she decided to stay, that she factored in the fact that they had a whole bunch of kids and they've been together a long time. And she also factored in that breakfast club check too, bitch. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying, girl. We gonna keep it real over here, bitch. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got to say. DJ, uh, DJ Envy girl, sit down. You don't let, you don't let these niggas run you off on your motherfucking show. <laughs> and then they crack joke. Like you should have seen how they were looking when DJ Envy started going off. Confused, cause I was confused too. Nigga, are you really mad about this shit? Like, you really mad about this. Like, you are really, like, up in your... Like, you so mad you had to get... And then, of course, Angela Yee, she being nice. You know, he don't play when it comes to his wife. No, he do play when it comes to his wife. We all saw that. He played with his wife. He played with his kids. And he played with his family when he was ripping and running these motherfucking streets with these bitches and these whores. So he plays with his family. Maybe it's just one of those things. You know how, like, you have that cousin... And you call her a dumbass hoe trick. But then if somebody else call him a dumbass hoe trick, you be ready to fight. Because, bitch, that's my motherfucking cousin. So I can call her a dumb hoe trick. You can't call her no dumb hoe trick. So maybe that's what it is. That's probably what it is. He can disrespect his family and cheat on his family. And lie to his family. But can't nobody else do it. I understand that. But I don't understand the way he was acting and cutting up. Girl, I'm done. Fuck DJ Andy. <laughs>